Uh, but this interview was awesome. I loved it. it. Obviously, he has a relationship with Urban, you can tell. So Urban's not afraid to open up. I'm going to play a clip, respond to it, and then give you a thought or a take, I guess, on something else he said that I'm not going to show in the video. Take a listen, and we'll go from there. And out of the blue, we, uh, we talked. And, uh, you know, something he said to me, he said that when, when I, I, you just said a quote, some about losing to Kentucky wasn't a disaster or something like that. I think, did you say something like that? Yes. By the way, I wrote that. I wrote that. Yeah, I guess I would disagree with you, buddy. I think losing is a disaster. You know, I think okay. when you lose a football game, it's a disaster. And someone said, well, no, it's, uh, it's you know, you know, there's more important things. And that's fine. But then I don't believe that's Florida. I don't believe that's Ohio State. I don't believe that's Alabama. When you lose a game, it's disasters. And you work really, really hard not to experience disasters. I mean, like, really hard. Like, you work probably as hard as any person in, a, in a, on the planet during the fall to make sure disasters don't happen. So, and Steve agreed, you know, Steve and I both agreed that we're just saying, you know, that when you lose a game, if the culture is right, I'm, I'm not speaking about the Florida culture because I really don't know. I really like Billy Napier. I'm really pulling for him. But the also reality is when you lose a game, if the place, if there's a culture and a feeling in that building that this can never, ever, ever happen again, that's the kind of culture that I wanted to be around. That's the kind of culture that Steve and I talked about that. Uh, Coach Burry, I'm sorry, that, uh, you know, the absolute distaste, hatred of losing. And some people, and I get it, some people say, man, that's that's pretty extreme. Yeah, I know, it's Florida football. What I love, though, is, again, him just talking about that mindset, that grittiness, right? And, and how losing is disastrous and how the culture should look at that loss. And look, as we as fans, and myself included, we try to justify the loss. And I under, I understand why we get it. Even Buddy in his article said, look, it's, it's, it's different. Things have changed. But I love where Urban's mindset was at. <clears throat> Something else I do want to mention. In this interview as well, he talks about the type of coach that he is, the type of CEO that he is. And, and I think Buddy was trying to get him to say, like, hey, would you ever come back and coach for, for the Florida Gators? And he, and he also talked about managing stress and how he managed it and how he didn't do that great of a job and responding to the media. Again, it was a very phenomenal interview. I really, guys, I really recommend going to watch it. Buddy Martin, again, the class act, as was the interview. But something he mentioned, and this is kind of where it kind of got me back on track of, like, look, we need to... I know I keep saying the word patient, but hear me out. He said, look, my, how, what, I think the, what makes me, what, what, the type of coach slash CEO that I am is I come in really quickly and I can fix it. I'm a short-term guy. I'm not a long-term guy. It's not in my DNA. Just not. I can't do that. Can't be long-term, right? You saw what he did at Florida a couple years there. Ohio State, a couple years there. Jaguars, four days, right? But look, in some CEOs, that's what they're designed to do. They come in, they clean shit up, they get the thing going, and they take off. That's what they're good at. And that's that's it. Billy does not strike me as that kind of guy. He's a guy that's going to take the time to build it, to create something, and then sustain it. That's the mentality that I think that Billy is implying. And again, it's two different speeds, two different ways that you can handle that, two different ways that you go about those things. Um, but it just, when I heard him say that, I go, look, he's spot on with that. So we all keep wanting this quick fix. We want this short-term fix of how to get it done. And I think if we want long-term, you know, longevity, we have to be a little bit patient to allow those things to build. Again, I know you're tired of hearing about it. And I know you're saying, you're trying to, you're going to say, Sean, you're an idiot, you're crazy. But even here in Urban say, look, that I'm, this is who I am as a CEO. I, I'm trying to see the different light that possibly that, uh, you know, Billy is bringing a different type of, you know, approach to it a more long-term approach to the CEO as well as to the coaching. And again, speaking to CEO, I, I we, there's a lot of talk behind the scenes on the possibility of a new OC. I really think there's going to be some changes in the off season from just kind of just conversations that are being had some good, some good things. And I really got to thinking, I was talking with my buddy today about this. Who's a big Georgia guy. You, we went out and got Austin, Austin, uh, Austin Armstrong, hell of a hire. If Billy can go out there and make the exact same hire on the opposing side that carries that same kind of energy and that same kind of youth and allows Billy to operate up here, we know what the things can do. and We see the talent that's coming around him. For as bought in as DJ Lagway is and it continues to be bought in, seeing the offense production being on the football field, you got to think there's something else in the background that's working 
that's that's getting worked. That's being per, projected in a way, anyways, to the the recruiting staff. So again, we'll see how it plays out. the The offensive line is still a lot in question. How that's going to play out? Again, Jordan Seaton was there this weekend. I, I, he's a big component for me on you know where we stand with the offensive line. He's somebody who who who, who said himself, "I'm not all about the flash. I'm about getting better. I want to see what they can, how they can improve me." If their two offensive linemen can't go in there and sell this young man, I don't know what we're going to do, right? And that's where I think things might need to change. 